Hello guys, today we will add a real time clock to our Arduino. I will show you how to hook up this tiny RTC module to your Arduino and store real time and also date to that module and getting those data. Okay, for that here we will use DS1307 I2C module. Okay, this is our module. Here we want to put a battery that is TR2032 lithium battery you can put here. Here I have got one. You can see it's 3 volt. I think this is enough for maintaining the power for this module for one year. Okay, approximately one year. You can just simply insert it here. Okay, guys. This is our module. You can see here. So this is one EEPROM and another IC. This IC is uh, DS1302. Okay, and this is a EEPROM. You can see pin set GPIO pin set both sides. Okay, this is I2C interface. First pin is SQ, it is square wave pin. We can programmatically out of four, we can get any one input from here. Okay, we want to program it. And second pin is DS, we can add a temperature sensor here. Okay, and uh, temperature data we can, uh, we can get from this pins uh, that is DS pin. And this side also you can see. And third one is SCL that is serial clock and that is serial data for this vcc we can give maximum 5.5 volt and minimum 3.3 uh, 3 volt to up this module and you can see and uh, ground that is connected to ground of any microcontroller and this last pin that is bat that is uh, that indicates battery in the absence of this battery main battery or any interest happens to this battery this uh, power to this pin will work for making these chips working Okay, I hope you understand. You can give either a lithium battery like this uh, as an external battery and gives power to here that. So if any interest happen to this battery, main battery, uh, this module will still uh, keep working. And what is the real need of this module? If your project contains something that is based on real time, that is an alarm, data logger or somewhat uh, timestamp you needed, then you certainly need this module. Because Arduino can't store a uh, time or maintain a time for a long time. After it get rebooted, then every data will be erased. That is, it is a volatile memory. So there we need this module. Okay, now we can hook it up with our Arduino. Here I am using Arduino Uno, but you can use any other microcontroller like Arduino Nano. And I'll just check the SD and SCL pins of that modules. And I need a breadboard and some jumbo wires. Okay, guys. And header pins are not soldered while getting we want you want to get it soldered and also you will not get this lithium battery uh, inside this you want to buy it separately okay first of all we can see the pins just stacking it over a breadboard just a bit on a breadboard the first pin is BAT that is for battery and second pin is the round third pin is VCC, fourth pin is SBA, fifth is SCL and sixth is DS and last one is uh, SQ. Okay so we want to connect it. First one we can skip it and second one is VCC and third one is ground and connecting it to ground. Okay. Ground and next one is I'm connecting this green one. So yeah, it should go to 5 volt of our Arduino. Third one is SDA. Okay, this one. SDA and next is CF. This blue one SDA is connected to A4. Okay. A4 and last one SCL is connected to A5. You can see the circuit diagram on the screen itself. I hope. Now I am going to power this module. And for saving the power, there is no LED indicators here. Okay, this is our program. We want to import these packages that is wire, time, and DS1307 RTC. Okay, wire because uh, we, we are using I2C, wire library is must. I will leave the link in the description. You can download this package from there and just copy it and paste to Arduino library folder. Okay, you can see everything is defined here and main thing is happening in these two functions that is get time and get date. 
what this functions do is getting time and date that is real time and date from our system and uh, sending it to our chip using i2g okay i hope you understand here you can see how many ten second and in the date you can see it's month day and year okay so getting the time and date and sending it to or storing it to our chip okay guys i'm just compiling the sketch okay done compiling i am just writing it to our device in our arduino uploading done uploading now we can just open our serial monitor uh, here we write a code for uh, writing printing our date you can see here you can see ds1307 configure time equal to time and date equal to date so we can just open our serial monitor and check it okay you can see we got the time real time you can see it's 15 7 here okay this is international time and you can see date is march 19 2021 okay we got it and i'm just closing it we need another sketch that is for reading time from our module okay we can check it whether it is working or not okay guys this is another sketch that is for reading the data that is date and time from our module that is a real time module and getting it printed on our CLA monitor and this is uh, this is the program or sketch for that okay you can see this print to digit number right you see is sending the data uh, you can see rtc dot read of tm and everything is done here and if it is not sending any data that is uh, then it will write that ds uh, ds1307 is stop please run the set time if it is showing that means uh, there is no data there means and battery is damaged or battery is removed from that so and we can just check it guys uploading yeah it's done uploading then we can just check our serial monitor where it will print the time and date okay yeah guys we got it you can see the time and date here date is in date uh, day month and year format okay we got it guys but what if i remove the uh, battery Okay, let's check it guys okay now I am just removing the battery okay guys uh, just removing the battery okay nothing happened you can see the time and date is showing here because we have uh, powered it externally uh, but now I am just removing the power okay removing the power yeah now our Arduino goes off and no power to our module and just uh, reinserting our yeah and again I am opening the serial monitor and we can check whether it will work or not you can see uh, DS1307 is stop please run the set time okay now we again want to set the time because there is no backup battery here okay so uh, what I am going to do is just reinserting our battery okay and I am just going to run our first program that is for setting the time okay guys i am just going to run it okay okay now i am again uploading our code for uh, reading data and time from this chip okay uploading done uploading now i am going to open the serial monitor yeah i can see the time and date and now i am going to remove the external power but not this battery backup battery and uh, we can check whether it will maintain the time or not i mean date and time okay you can see our arduino goes off there is no external power here but we can check it whether this this module will maintain the and now i am again going to power our arduino and you can check whether it will maintain the data or not i'm again going to see the monitor yeah you can see guys it had maintained the data you can see the time and date here 
I hope you got this uh, got the real use of our module that is a real time clock module guys. I hope you enjoyed this section. If so please like this video and consider subscribing my channel. Okay, thank you.